Today I'm going to be building this uh, minimum RC airplane. It comes with the fuselage and wings and the components for those, um, the propeller and the motor. It comes with uh, tiny servos and their connectors. And um, what does not come with is a charger for your battery, a battery, um, an ESC, and, re and a receiver. And this has to be um, for the cordless motor, not like the regular three cable one, but kind of like a, a brushed one, but it's, it's cordless, so, you know, and then your own radio. So then you bind um, your radio to your receiver. Um, your receiver, when you plug it in, it will be blinking kind of randomly or constantly quickly. Um, so if you hold the bind button while you turn it on, then it'll bind, and you'll know that it's binded um, because the light will stop flashing, and then you can test it. So I plug in the servo. And I think you can hear that that servo going off. Maybe. As for the motor, um, it's got this kind of connection right here, um, but the the cables aren't that great, like they're just kind of cut off at the end. Um, so most likely I'll probably end up taping it or gluing it in, but um, you know, I don't imagine it being too jostled around and, and right now it's kind of working even if I'm just kind of shaking it. Um, yeah, and then you want to make sure that, so the black and the white probably could have been backwards um, if I did that by accident, but that's easy to check because I can just hold it and then turn on the power slowly and it'll be obvious that it's blowing wind towards me. So that means it's in the right direction. Unless you want it to go the other way, but I don't. You will also apparently need some sort of glue or super glue. Remember to turn it on and see your if your um, servo arm is centered or at where you need it to be uh, before you put in the screw. So the instructions make it sound like you want to set up the push rods first and then plug them in. I recommend against it. I recommend just putting it in the, really just doing one side and then hooking up the other side and then connecting the, the push rod to the um, metal connector. I also ended up cutting about an inch off the side of the push rod um, because otherwise it's just too long. All right, it's a little windy today, but let's try this out. Perfect.